hours after the departure of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Kenya's position on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been put to question by a section of Muslim clerics in Mombasa. The leaders are asking Kenya to steer clear of Israel until a lasting solution is found on the conflict. KTN's Francis Ontomwa reports. Solemn Eid prayers will mark the end of the month-long Ramadan period. In Mombasa, faithful congregated at the historical Tononoka grounds. And whereas messages of peace, love and unity came in plenty, the scope of discussion will however stretch miles away into the heart of what has been described as the world's most controversial conflict, the Israeli-Palestinian war, a discussion that trails the immediate departure of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Mfumo wao, wakisiasa ni mfumo ambao uli, uh, uli, uh, uli kwa declared na United Nations kwa ni aina ya ubaguzi. Leo iwe inahusiano mzuri na nchi za Kiafrika hatujui tuenda wapi. For decades the ripple effects of the Israeli Palestinian conflict has caught the world's attention and these leaders have a problem with Kenya making close association with Israel which they believe is persecuting Palestinian Arab nation over deeply embedded historical land conflicts. This is not uh, uh, anything that is uh, about anti-Jews but it is anti uh, uh, Israel and anti-Zionism. Though both Jews and Arab Muslims did their claims to the land that the sites occupy a couple thousand years, the current political conflict began in the early 20th century. Everybody is agreed that Zionism is a form of racism. Yes. A, so if Zionism is a form of racism, then the, res, the Zionist regime is a racist regime. In the same way we fought the apartheid, then Zionism must be fought to, the, to that extent where it, it, it goes against the grain of international basic rights. Zionists believe Judaism is a nationality as well as a religion and that the Jews deserve their own state, something that is at the core of what concerns Arabs and Palestinians about the Israeli state. Na tuachelea, isije hili likaonekana ya kuwa nchi yetu sasa imekuwa, imejiunga na nchi hizi ambazo zafanya dhulma, wazi wazi, na mawaji wazi wazi. Tayari hivi sasa uh, Some critics reckon that the United States of America, which holds UN veto power, has not shown a considerate and deliberate commitment to ending the Israeli Palestinian crisis. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Mombasa.